All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the Sheridan. Now, the Sheridan has seen a humongous nerf towards the ATGMs it had, and that was the main unique feature of the Sheridan. Now, some would say the Sheridan is quite dead, and I would mostly agree with them. However, it still has that 560 Alpha, which is very, very, very good. And let me explain why. Even though the Sheridan does have around 15 seconds of reload time, the Alpha allows you to slap people and then just move away. For example, a um, Object 140 or T62 would need to sit in the same position for five seconds in order to do the same amount of damage. Well, roughly, of course, to do the same amount of damage. While the Sheridan doesn't really need to re-peak. It shoots once and then it moves away and that's how it should be played. You shoot someone once and then you change position, shoot them again, etc, etc. The thing about big alphas compared to big DPM is that it's actually harder to make use of the DPM because uh, if you're in, a, in an unarmored tank, for example, you're going to have to sit in front of the enemy for longer and therefore you're going to die quicker as well because of your DPM if you actually want to use it. While tanks with big alpha don't necessarily have to, you know, try and sit in front of the enemy to do that much damage. They need to poke out once, maybe take one shot, and then they fall back. That's it. But if you sit in front of the enemy for like 10, you know, seconds, for example, tanks like drums have to sit in front of enemies to actually give out their full drum, then it becomes quite dangerous because multiple enemies can shoot you at the same time. Uh, in the case of the Sheridan, it has very good mobility. It ha It is prone to block a lot of HE shells because of its uh, outer casing, uh, which is uh, HE proof. Of course, the only weakness is being the lower part of the back. But apart from that, this tank is HE proof. And so it's very, very good. You know, in, in regards to armor, it doesn't have any, of course, against AP or APCR. It's just going to go straight through the Sheridan. But HE shells, it will block. And so you are pretty good at shooting and then running away, changing position, shooting and changing position. And uh, that's your main goal in the whole game. It's pretty much harassing the enemy here and there where you can and doing damage where you can, especially in second slash third line. Sometimes you can, of course, come into the first line, but I wouldn't really recommend it. This tank is a pure harassment and support tank. It's meant to go around your main tanks, smack someone and change position, smack someone else and then change position. You know, you don't want to sit too long in the same place um, unless you want to get slapped. So tell me what you guys think about the nerf Sheridan in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye.